What a coincidence. I was wondering where I might be able to find you, and here you are. <laughs> well, can't I come and see you when nothing is up? All right, as much as I'd like to sit and chat with you, this time I'm here mainly for Klee. Before bringing Klee here, I told her many stories about Inazuma. It got her very excited to experience the local culture here. However, I've got other things to do in Inazuma this time besides painting the portraits of the Five Kasen. Over the next couple of days, I won't have the time to show her around. Inazuma is not like Mondstadt. I can't just let Klee wander off by herself when I'm busy with other things. So I had to have her stay at the International Trade Association while I finish my work. She hasn't complained, but I can tell she's not enjoying being stuck there on her own. Fortunately, I now have you and Paimon. So, uh... Yay! Mr. Honorary Knight's here! What you talking about, Mr. Honorary Knight? Are we gonna go play? Yeah! Um, but Albedo is really busy. I can't go too far away or he'll be worried about me. Aw, Klee, you're such a thoughtful kid. Ah! Paimon's a very thoughtful, thank you very much. Paimon always thinks of you whenever she's eating a delicious slime. Anyway, it is pretty cruel not to let Klee go out when she was so excited to come here. Yep, yep. Allow the almighty traveler and dependable Paimon to bring Klee on a tour of Inazuma. Klee, do you want to go play with Mr. Honorary Knight? Yes, you bet I do! As you know, Klee is our Spark Knight. You must keep her safe and sound. <clears throat> By which I mean, uh... <clears throat> try to keep her out of trouble. For instance, if a mountain in Inazuma was to lose one of its peaks, or if there were an explosion somewhere in the city, Klee could very well get in trouble. Glad to hear it. <laughs> I promise I'll bring you back an awesome souvenir, Mr. Albedo. Great. I look forward to it. Wow, something smells so good. I think it's coming from this steaming thingy. Mr. Honorary Knight, look at this noodley soup. It's so pretty. There's so many nice things inside. It's not noodley soup. It's tonkotsu ramen, actually. Oh, so, um, what are those yellow and red thingies on that plate? You're kidding, right? Those are tri-flavored skewers. Mmm, and what about this little yellow cake? That's an egg roll. They're amazing. Have you really not tried one before? Wow, tonkotsu ramen, tri-flavored skewers, and Egg rolls! <laughs> they all sound delicious! <laughs> they sure are! Guess you're not from around here if you haven't tried any of these before. Let me buy you an egg roll with my allowance so you can get a taste of our Inazuman food. Really? But Master Jean said I shouldn't go taking other people's things. Also, that's your allowance, right? Taking another kid's allowance just seems kind of wrong. Oh, I remember you. You're Yoimiya's friend. How come you know how to make egg rolls? Egg rolls are a piece of cake for this guy. Why don't you make some for Klee and Iwo? Uh, really? Wow, Paimon is so touched. You're learning. All right, we'll be waiting on those egg rolls. Wow! You really can cook them! You're awesome, mister! Mmm, it's sweet! So yummy! Yep, yep! It's delicious! Traveler, you are the best! Yeah, these egg rolls are pretty good, but I still think Yoimiya's are better. 
Who is you and Mia? She makes egg rolls too? Yoimiya can do anything. She tells stories, keeps goldfish, makes fireworks, and gives us candy, too. Yoimiya's pretty much the best and most awesome person ever. For me, the best, most awesome person in the world is my mom. And Klinos loads of other great people, too. Like Mr. Albedo, Mr. Honorary Knight, Master Jean, Kaya. Uh, uh... Surely she's not going to name everyone she knows. Oh, well, I don't know any of those people. But anyways, I still want to introduce you to Yoimiya. If you want, I'll take you to find her. In most festivals, Yoimiya's so busy that you can never find her. But this festival's different. She has free time, so she can play with us. She seems like she hasn't been in a great mood recently. But maybe seeing you will cheer her up. Okay, let's go play with you and Mia. We Mia, don't be sad. Um, I... Oh, I know. Let me tell you something that'll cheer you up. Yesterday, I won three beetle fights in a row against that guy with the horns on his head. Wow, Matsuzaka. Nice work. It's not easy to beat Ito. Don't worry, Yoimiya. Maybe you can't light fireworks during the Iridori Festival, but there are still lots of other fun things to do. I know. <sighs> Thanks, you guys. It's just that fireworks are banned in the city for a few days. I'm not that upset, really. Yoimiya, it's me! I want to introduce you to a new friend, an Outlander girl. I just met her. Wait, what's your name again? <laughs> Klee! My name is Klee! Nice to meet you, Klee. I'm Yoimiya, and I run Naganahara Fireworks. Um, <laughs> hello! I love the cute outfit, with the hat and the cool little symbols. So unique! And your backpack, wow, it's really well made. That's a four-leaf clover. Mom and Master Jean said it can bring me good luck. Really? That's awesome! I bet everyone would love one of those. Also, that little fairy on your backpack is super cute, too. <laughs> That's Dodoko, my best friend. We always go fish blasting together in Starfell Lake. Oh, Dodoko? What an interesting name. I really like it. Yep. My mom says that when a Dodoko is born, it rides the wind and goes off on a big adventure. <laughs> Ride the wind and go up on a big adventure? Klee, your mom sounds like a very cool person. Yep, my mom is the best and most awesome person ever. And Yoimiya, Iwao was right. You're a really cool person too. <laughs> Thanks, Klee. I feel like we really get each other. We'll be great friends, I'm sure of it. Uh, it's so heartwarming watching these two chat away. Hey, Klee! Since you like four-leaf clover so much, why don't I make a firework with a four-leaf clover pattern and set it off for you? <gasps> yeah! And after the fireworks, we can go fish blasting with Dodoko! Uh, hold on a second. Fish blasting? <laughs> no way! Albedo was pretty clear about that! Oh, oops. I got so excited that I completely forgot about that. The folks from the Yashiro Commission specifically warned me that no fireworks are allowed in Inazuma during the Iridori Festival. What? It's not allowed. But... Aww. <sighs> okay, then. Hey, come on! You just made a new friend! This is a happy occasion! Why are you suddenly so upset? Yeah! things we can do. Right! Just like Saika said, there are lots of fun things to do. What do you say, Klee? Sounds like the Iridori Festival could be a real blast. <laughs> okay, then. Let's go! Outlander Brigade. When the wind of death blew towards the blonde samurai, 
Oh, what a long name. Must be a new one. I've never heard of it. Hmm. By Kawabunga Iki. <laughs> Your Miha, this is a really strange name. Who's this Kawabunga? It's pronounced Kayabuki Ike. <laughs> that would be me. Outlander Brigade is a new series of mine, and When the Wind of Death Blew Towards the Blonde Samurai is the first volume. Mm, Outlander's big brain? Um, is it a story about the best of friends? Kaya says that every good story has to have best friends in it. Absolutely not. I would never allow such cliches in one of my novels. This is a book about betrayal, blood, and tears. A long and lonely struggle. A stubborn samurai's path to the truth. This is the kind of story that needs to be told. Oh, is that right? Well, I'm not sure that's a very, uh, suitable story for Klee. Um, we might keep looking around. Hey, miss! Don't go! Are you sure you don't want a copy? I'll give you 40% off! Flowers for Princess Fischl. Oh, look! It's Fischl's story! That's right! Flowers for Princess Fischl. Have you read this book before, Klee? <laughs> nope, but I know Fischl's story. Fischl always hangs out with Oz. Everyone in the Adventures Guild knows. It's just like how me and Donoko are always together. Hmm. I wonder if Donoko is getting bored now. Oh, Klee, I'm afraid it can't be helped. There are a lot of flammable items at the festival, and we have to be careful not to start a fire. Darn. It seems like even the Iridori Festival can't cheer Klee and Yoimiya up. Mm. There must be plenty of things you can do with Dodoko besides lighting fireworks and going fish blasting. Yeah, like, um... I... Wait, so that's what you're suggesting? That's right! The Iridori Festival is a place for putting your work on display. You can show Dodoko's story for everyone here! Bingo! What do you think of that idea, Klee? Mm, Mr. Alvedo taught me how to paint. I can paint the story of Dodoko's adventure in Inazuma. That's very imaginative. I think it's a great idea. <laughs> we could even put the finished story on display at the festival. Yay! Great! Dodoko will be so happy! Perfect! Okay, so I have some paper, paintbrushes, and paint at the shop. Let's go to the shop and paint your story there. <laughs> Yay! Let's go! Let's go! Clee and I just had a discussion and we've decided... We're going to keep the content of the story a secret from you guys, for now. <laughs> Obviously, I can't tell you why. Or... <clears throat> you'll see. Don't worry. You can keep exploring the festival while we're busy in the shop. We'll be here when you get back. Come on, Yoimiya. We should get going. Let's go inside and start painting. Hoping that we could all paint together. So unfair. <laughs> Actually, Paimon's got an idea. Come on, let's go around to the windows and take a sneaky peek. So, what does Dodoko do after getting to Inazuma? Hmm. Dodoko goes to eat tri flavored skewers, tonkatsu ramen, and egg rolls. Ooh, that sounds great! Is that what you're painting? It looks beautiful! Once you're done painting, let's go get it printed. We'll print a whole bunch of copies and go hand them out at the festival. Hmm, although it'll cost a lot more to get it printed. Uh, let me see if I've got enough saved up. It's okay, Yoimiya. I have some more. Look! Uh, 50 more is probably not quite enough. Well, if we don't have enough, we can ask the Traveler for ideas. Mr. Honorary Knight has helped a lot already. I don't want 
want to trouble him, so I think I should just go fish blasting to earn some mora. Mm, no fish blasting. Paimon and the Traveler said so. Oh, then we've got no choice. We'll have to go see Mr. Albedo. Who's Mr. Albedo? He's my older brother. He's super duper smart. He can do anything. And he knows how to paint, too. He paints Hilly Charles, Kaya, and even Todoko. That's why he came to Inazuma this time, to do paintings for everyone. Oh, is that right? Then I guess Mr. Albedo must be an artist working with the AI Publishing House. An artist? Oh, that means he has two jobs. One as an alchemist, teaching sucrose alchemy, and the other as an artist, doing paintings for people. Yo, Emilia, let me show you something. Mr. Albedo taught me you can paint Todopko's color like this. Wow, I can see the resemblance. All right, I'll paint the streets, and Klee, you fill in Dodako's colors. Hey, you can even write the story over here to explain what's happening in the painting. Okay, let's write this. Oh, mm hmm Shoot! Paimon didn't hear the last part. Dodako sure had a lot of fun in Inazuma. Those two sound like they really did go on an adventure with Dodako. They couldn't be happier. Now, we have to get Dodako's story printed. Come on, let's go to the Eye Publishing House. Here we are. This is the Yai Publishing House. Yai Publishing House? Ooh, it's Auntie Aratani! I know Auntie Aratani! <laughs> auntie? <laughs> Who's that calling me Auntie? Oh, it's the little girl who came with Mr. Calx. How can I help you, little girl? Auntie Aratani, can you help me get Dodoko's story printed so that everybody can see it? Dodoko? Oh, so you've been writing a story, huh? Is Dodoko the main character? Not only that, Dodoko is also real. Look! Uh huh? I don't quite understand. We'd better explain this to her. Oh, I see. Oh, I'd love to help you make this wish come true, but I'm sorry. The deadline has passed for accepting printing orders for the Iridori Festival. Auntie, are you saying Dodoko won't be able to meet everyone after all? Oh, I'm sorry, little girl. <laughs> oh, Klee, don't be upset. You still have me and the Traveler. I'll think of something. Um, Miss Aratani, is there any way at all we can still get this printed? We can pay extra. And if you're short on staff to help with the printing, I can pitch in. Uh, Miss Yoimiya, I understand your sentiment, but I'm afraid it's not as simple as that. We've been printing many people's personal works for this festival, and a lot of the books are already well behind schedule. The printing press is already working overtime to try and catch up. At a time like this, we really can't squeeze any more jobs in. What do we do? Seems like we might have to give up on this idea. No, I won't let that happen. I remember this one time when I was little. Pop said he'd take me to the festival, but he was so busy with work that he forgot all about it. I waited and waited. I kept wondering when Pops was finally going to take me there. Eventually, people started coming home from the festival. That night, I cried miserably. Ugh, to this day, I still remember how sad I felt. I don't want Clee to feel the same way. If we can't get it printed, then we'll just have to find our own way. I can paint. Over the next few days, I'll paint as many as I can. Then, we'll take those to the festival. My, my. Yoimiya has quite a determined spirit. I like it very much. It's Mika!
Alberto, and Alberto too! We heard everything. Oh, Lady I! It's okay, I know. You were just following the rules. Plus, we really are quite behind schedule with the printing. But our mission at Yai Publishing House is to bring dreams and happiness to the masses. It would be a crying shame if we couldn't even help one adorable little girl fulfill her wish. Let me think. Oh, I know. Yoimiya, little girl, you can print your book, but on one condition, okay? Of course, Lady Guji. Uh, just tell us. Whatever this condition is, I am ready to face it. Dear me, it's nothing that horrendous. You make it sound like I'm some sort of wicked witch. All I mean is, if you want to get your work printed now, there is only one way. You have to combine it with another print. However, there is only a small amount of space remaining in the book in question. Your book is too big, so you have to reduce it to about half the size to make it fit. Is this a sacrifice that you're willing to make? Klee, Lady Guji is saying that we can print the book if we shrink it to half the size. Are you okay with that? Yup, I am! Thanks, Miss Guji Lady! <laughs> what an adorable little girl! Well, that settles it. Aratani, make sure it gets printed with tonight's batch. Yes, Lady I. I'll get right on it. Combining the prints is a plausible solution, but it'll cause a lot of extra work for the printing press. I am terribly sorry about that. No problem. Just think of it as my greeting gift for little Klee. Besides, the Yai Publishing House will need your help with the illustrations again next time, Mr. Calx. You could also consider it as my investment in you. Hmm? All right, I won't disturb you two any longer. Bye-bye now. Yay! Everything worked out perfectly. Now, we just need to wait for an update from the Yai Publishing House. Yui Mia, Traveler. Thank you for keeping Klee so exceptionally well entertained for me. <laughs> no worries. Yes, you're right. Klee is family, after all. Look, Mr. Honorary Knight, Auntie Aratani brought us Todoko's story. Now we can finally see what secrets Klee and Yoimiya were keeping from us. Oh, it's really nothing that exciting. It's the story of Todoko and me. And me. And you guys. to inform you that since this book was printed together with another work, there are many more copies than you may have anticipated. We won't charge you a printing fee, but in exchange, the extra copies of your book will be included as a free gift with purchases of the other book. Is that okay with you? Oh, are you sure? I mean, it's fine by us. But what does the author of the book think? Actually, the book that yours was printed with is called the Tevat Travel Guide. <gasps> Hey! That's Mommy's book! So, Klee's mother is a writer? Huh. Klee's mother, Alice, is a renowned adventurer in Tevat, and the Inazuma edition of her popular Tevat travel guide series is set to be released imminently. Lady Yae has already decided on how to promote it. A joint endeavor by Tevat's biggest and best mother-daughter adventure duo. It's sure to be a huge hit. Uh, Paimon knew it! Miko would never do anything for free. 
<laughs> a typical move by Lady Yai. It works out well for everybody, doesn't it? Yep, I'm super happy because my book gets to be released together with Mommy's book. It's like me and Mommy going on an adventure together. Oh, I'm so glad I came. The Iridori Festival is the best! So many complaints. What should I do? Ah, oh, are you the traveler who my superior said would come and help us out? You came at the perfect time. We're facing a small problem here. As you know, the Iridori Festival is underway. In addition to all the things on sale, there's a lot of free entertainment programs available. But today, we received numerous complaints that a group of people have been hogging the Tanuki photo board. They won't leave so no one else gets to use it. <sighs> what a headache. Well, we tried talking to them, but the original point of these entertainment facilities was to let people freely enjoy the festival. So in principle, it's open to everyone. And there's no time limit on usage. This means that as long as they haven't done anything technically illegal, even if they keep hogging it, there is nothing we can do. So, can you try negotiating with them for us? If these complaints can't be resolved and Madame Cujo finds out, I'll lose my bonus this month for sure. Hogging a photo board, huh? <laughs> we know who would do something like that. Should we go and have a look? Oh, thank you so much. You'll find them by the Tanuki photo board just east of the square. Hey, hey! Traveler, Paimon, what's happening? Oh, you came here for the Iridori Festival too? Oh, see, I knew it! Great minds think alike, huh? <laughs> Oh, you're such a child. We're here to take care of a little problem. Yo, yo, right. Yeah, well, who's got a problem? The Arataki gang considers it our born duty to help those in need. Wait, huh? The Arataki gang is the problem! The Terrio Commission said you guys have been hogging the photo board and nobody else has had a chance to use it. Oh, uh, well, no, we haven't. Uh, it's kind of a long story. Uh, hey, Mamoru, you're up. Explain the situation to these good people. Yes, boss. The story starts two months ago, when we first found out about the Iridori Festival. As everyone knows, this is a festival all about showcasing culture, with books on all kinds of topics on display and for sale. Our boss is very forward-thinking. He thought we should seize this golden opportunity to publish some material introducing the Arataki Gang and help craft a glorious public image. He also said we can make some money out of it to support ourselves. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> well, that wasn't the main reason, obviously. Of course that was your main reason! At first, we had plenty of time. In two months, Boss planned to write 60 pages. But one month in, and he'd written a grand total of one line. Well, I mean, come on, you gotta make sure the quality is up to scratch. More like worst procrastinator ever. So we cut some of the planned content, and figured it would still be fine if we could put out 20 pages in the next month. But the day after that, the boss got a hold of this card game called Genius Invocation TCG. Everyone loved it! It felt like we only played a few rounds, but before we knew it, half a month had gone by! I'm telling you, this game? It's pretty incredible. I was just gathering inspiration for my writing. What? Sure you were! Inspiration that has absolutely nothing to do with what you were writing about. So, then we only had two weeks left. No way was that going to be enough time to publish a book. Boss said we should just make a colorful flyer instead. That way, we'd only need to think of a slogan. That makes more 
more sense. It shouldn't take too long to think of a slogan, right? Yeah, it didn't take long at all. We came up with 30 slogans between us in just half a day. But 30 was too many, and we couldn't agree with each other on which one to use. It took us a week to make the final decision. That was when we realized we'd have to pay an expensive express fee for the printing, because there was so little time left. And we couldn't afford it! You gotta take it slow if you want to do something well. Pay an express fee and they're gonna do a rush job, and <laughs> then there's gonna be all sorts of problems. The Arataki Gang only puts out the very best into the world, and that is why I decided to give up on that project. That, yep, well said. You gotta do what keeps you happy. Same goes for humans and Oni alike. But it's not every day that you get to go to an Iridori festival, right? So priority number one right now is enjoying ourselves to the mo 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 max And the way you chose to enjoy yourselves was to commandeer a novelty photo board? Um, so, at first, Boss brought us here to buy some drinks. He said there was some sort of Iridori festival limited edition soft drink available. That's right. This ain't no ordinary drink either. It's a special edition joint creation of Sailing Breeze and Yai Publishing House, as featured in the popular novel, Pretty Please Kitsune Guji? Uh... what? But when we got to the festival, the staff wouldn't let us in because of our unusual outfits. They said we had to show up looking like our normal selves before they'd let us in. We'd invested a lot of time and money into the way we looked. And then they accused us of spoiling the image of the city. One thing led to another, and by the time we finally got to Sailing Breeze's booth, all the drinks were sold out. We were pretty disappointed, but there was nothing we could do. Then we saw this photo board on the way back. Boss said we can't let the trip go to waste, so... So you decided to take over the whole area for your own use? <laughs> I beg to differ. It's public property. We didn't commandeer anything. We're just making sure public resources get used to the max. Yeah, boss is right. We're the ones making the most out of this thing. Never let a single moment in your life go to waste. That's our policy in the Arataki Gang, and we're out here making sure this photo board gets the most out of its lifespan, too. Oh, brother, what a noble cause. But we spent so much money on our appearance. We only had enough left for one of those drinks. We don't have anywhere near enough to buy books. But you can't just take over this photo board for yourself because it's free and you don't have any money. Other people have the right to use it, too! I guess when you put it like that, I can kind of see where you're coming from. So come on! Let someone else have their turn already! Um... Um... But you know full well that the Arataki Gang has a reputation to uphold. If I say I'm gonna make the most out of this board, then I have to live up to my words. If we just scrap our plan like that, we'd be going against our word. A gang's got to have integrity, or it does huge damage to your prestige. <clears throat> that being said, we won't have to worry about any of that if we can settle this the Arataki way. The Arataki way, huh? Hyman has a bad feeling about this. So I, Arataki Numero Uno Ito, challenge you to an all-out, no-holds-barred, anything-goes duel. If you win, I will leave this board alone. Oh, beetle fighting is an awesome idea. Just so happens I caught myself a true beast of an Oni Kabuto the other day. I call it Demon of Darkness. Unfortunately, I didn't bring Demon of Darkness with me today, so... <sighs> well, that's a relief. So, how are we gonna do this duel? Uh, let's think. Um... Yeah, ugh, wow, this is a, this is a tough nut to crack. Let me think for a second, um... Hey, look! Isn't that Toma? Guess he's here for the festival, too! Why don't we ask Toma how to do this duel? Hyman bets he'll have tons of ideas! Toma! Toma! Over here! 
Hey, Traveler and Paimon. What a nice surprise meeting you guys here. <sighs> well, I heard that a certain well-known individual had made an appearance at the festival and taken quite a liking to the Tanuki photo board. Since the Yashiro Commission is the host of this festival, I felt I simply had to come and meet them in person. Hmm. Red Horns. If I'm not mistaken, you must be the esteemed Arataki Ito, leader of the widely renowned Arataki Gang. Is that right? <laughs> Toma, my bro, your eyes do not deceive you. And you are the housekeeper extraordinaire of the Kamisato clan. You're quite the celebrity yourself, you know. Well, I'm flattered, Ito. And it's nice to meet you too, um, bro. Whoa. There's a serious bromance developing here. I didn't expect to run into both Ito and the Traveler here. Speaking of which, I kind of count as the host here. So is anything wrong? Don't worry, you can tell me anything. It's all Ito! He wants to... Uh, no, 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 it's no, no, it's no big deal. We were just about to have a duel, and, uh, we're trying to think of what format it should take. Oh, a duel. In that case, I have a suggestion. Since your duel is taking place at the Iridori Festival, why don't you have a volunteering competition? Then, you can both do your part for the Iridori Festival while settling your duel at the same time. What do you think? Volunteering competition? I, uh, sounds a little low-key. Not quite hardcore enough for the Arataki gang. I give this idea an interest rating of uh, two points. One for the Traveler, one for Toma. Boss means, uh, two points out of a hundred. <laughs> yeah, this job isn't the most high stakes, that's for sure. It just takes a little patience and responsibility. Also, since it's volunteering, by definition, there's no remuneration. All you'll get is this special edition drink from Sailing Breeze, as a small token of appreciation. On second thought, this is nowhere near enough for the prestigious Arataki gang. I don't know what I was thinking. Wait, 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 wait a sec. What was that part about the, uh, token of appreciation? Oh, it's just a special edition drink produced by Yai Publishing House and Sailing Breeze. It's really nothing special. Boss, that's the one! If we take this gig, we'll get that drink! Oh, so, uh, Toma, my bro, my guy, my dude, maybe I didn't explain properly. When I said two points, that's out of a total of two. <laughs> If there's one thing the Arataki gang is known for, I kid you not, it's our patience and responsibility. It's an awesome idea, totally hardcore. Practically tailor-made just for me. <laughs> Traveler, let's do this for our duel, huh? It'll be amazing. Whoever volunteers the hardest wins. What do you think? You didn't seem too interested in it just a second ago. Hey, this is the mighty Arataki, above all, bold-blooded Ito you're talking to here. I'm a say what I mean, mean what I say, might sound mean, but I say it anyway kind of guy. And I say, we're gonna have this duel. AKA doesn't want people to know he's only doing it for the drinks kind of guy. If it's decided, then allow me to take the role of your judge. The volunteer work is simple. You just need to give your help to people who need it during the festival. I will assign some job requests that I've already received to you. If you're ready, we can begin. Are you the volunteers? Perfect timing. As you can see, there's a lot of dust and dead leaves around my stand. I've just been so busy with my customers these past few days, I keep meaning to sweep up, but I just haven't found a spare moment. Can you help me clean up the place, please? Thank you so much. You're finished already? Wow, you work hard. You're wonderful people, all you volunteers. Thank you so much. Hey, mister! Come and help me! Hey, Kajirai! Fancy meeting you here at the festival! But we don't have time to play games with you right now. I'm not playing games. I'm in trouble. I heard they were selling a new kind of tamari at the festival, so I, I came to check it out. But I, I couldn't find it anywhere. And then I went and lost my current one. <laughs> it's gotta be nearby. I, I still had it a moment ago. 
Can you help me, mister? Uh, so basically, every time we run into you, we have to go to Mari Hunt it. Great! Ah, oh, now I can play the Tamari game again. Thanks, mister. Are you the festival volunteers? Oh, great. I was just wondering what to do about these goods. It's been really busy lately, and all the workers at the port are swamped. But I have to get all this fresh soy milk delivered to the warehouse as soon as possible. It'll go bad if it's left outside too long. Can you please help me take it to the warehouse? My co-worker Takeuchi will be waiting for you there. Thank you so much. Ah, uh, you must be the volunteers here to save the day. You must be tired. Put down the goods and have a rest. I heard the Yashiro Commission has arranged for Sailing Breeze to prepare some special drinks for the volunteers as a way of saying thank you. Soy milk is actually one of the ingredients for the drink. It's freshly made every day. In fact, the last batch of soy milk we processed has just been sent over. You'll get to try it very soon. What? So Sailing Breeze's special drink has soy milk in it? Ito won't be able to drink that! Hurry! We've got to get to Sailing Breeze before he does! <laughs> what took you so long? I've been here ages! Completed my tasks a long time ago. So there you have it. When volunteering is the name of the game, no one volunteers harder than Arataki Ito. <laughs> You lose, I win, and to the victor go the special edition spoils. Behold, the drink of champions, created by Sailing Breeze in collaboration with Yai Publishing House, and as featured in the popular work, Pretty Please Kitsune Gucci? Woo, all this talk's making me thirsty. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> drink of champions, it's time to come home. That's the good stuff! That was a mighty fine drink. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> Although, maybe it was past its prime. Boss, they said they think there might be, uh, b beans in the drink! Huh? Ah! The boss is down! The boss is down! Quick, get him to a doctor! What's wrong? Can't Arataki Ito drink soy products? He's allergic to beans! Oh, my goodness. Okay, uh, quick, grab Ito and follow me. I'll get a doctor. I sure hope it's not too serious. I'm sorry. I didn't even consider this possibility. It was all my fault. Leave Ito to me. I'll make sure he stands again. Don't worry. I'll see you later. So, your friend is allergic to beans. It's a very rare condition, though I have heard about it. I'm so sorry that our drink caused such a problem. I feel terrible. If you don't mind, please, take this. This is a special drink formula with no soy milk. I could see that your friend enjoyed this drink a lot. Although it tastes slightly different without the soy milk, I'm sure this version will be more suitable for your friend. Please accept it, along with our sincere apologies. The Five Kassen Plaza is significantly less crowded now, but it's still too early to relax. This is a serious matter, and we must remain vigilant. Is that clear? Yes, ma'am. Oh, it's you. Do you have something to report? Really? Good. The Tenryo Commission has a responsibility to ensure public order and security during the Iridori Festival. If anything comes up, come to me. Oh, you look really busy. Has something serious happened? Nothing serious, really. We've just received a lot of reports in the past few days over things like 
line cutting, reselling goods at inflated prices, even troublemakers hogging the photo board. All minor incidents, but it all adds up to create a lot of work for a lot of people. Still, I take the fact that so many people are turning to us for assistance as a sign that the Tenryo Commission is gradually regaining the people's trust. The Shogun gave us orders to provide security at the Iridori Festival. This is a rare chance to change people's perception of the Tenryo Commission, so we cannot afford to slip up. Even if it's tiring work, we must rise to the challenge. Well, no matter how busy you are, at least you still found some time to come here and buy an almighty Shogun figurine, right? We want to buy one, too! What do you mean, figurine? <clears throat> I'm just patrolling these parts. In fact, I was just about to leave. <laughs> no need to be shy. Actually, Miko told us that you got up super early this one time to make sure you could be the first in line to buy one of these figurines. That Lady Gucci, how could she disclose... <sighs> Never mind. To be clear, I have no intention to hide that which I do out of reverence alone. But there is one thing you must be corrected on. Oh? What is it? That is not a figurine. It's a statue of Her Excellency, the Almighty Narukami Agosho, God of Thunder. Do I make myself clear? Almighty Naru... Narukami Ogu... Uh, got it! This particular statue of Her Excellency, the Almighty Narukami Agosho, God of Thunder, is a brand new addition. There will only be 300 available in this batch, and there is a limit of one per customer. Many people have been lining up since well before dawn to acquire one. I'm afraid if you're only showing up now, you're probably too late. Oh, really? So... so you definitely must have gotten here pretty early too then! Did you manage to get one yet? Normally, of course, I would come to purchase one myself. But on this occasion, my duties at the Iridori Festival had to take priority. We are required to report for duty long before the shops open. It is regrettable, but I had no choice but to forego the chance this time. Aw, what a shame. So instead, I had someone purchase one on my behalf. Oh, right! Wait, you can do that? Didn't you say they're limited to one per customer? This figurine is super popular. It must be pretty tough to find someone happy to buy one for you and not for themselves. I anticipated the same at first, but Lady Gujiyae found a professional to assist me, saying she appreciated our tireless efforts during the festival period. I don't know who the professional is. I assume it would be either someone from the Grand Narukami Shrine or from the Yashiro Commission, but I did not ask. Given the time, I believe they should have completed the purchase by now. I am fortunate to have had Lady Guji's help this time. I likely would have struggled to find a candidate on my own. As well as being willing, they would need to be an early riser, and also tall enough to beat the crowds to the top shelf items. Early riser and tall. <laughs> What was that sound? Really? Well, never mind. I have been here long enough. It's time for me to head to my next patrol zone. Stay safe during the Iridori Festival. Festivals always attract so many people. Ugh. Oh, you found me! Sayu? What are you doing here? Oh, wait! Are you the professional? Shh! Quiet! She might still be in earshot. No way! 
I've been here since last night so I could buy a figurine. But after waiting and waiting, my eyes started to feel real droopy. And... I only meant to take a short nap. A really quick one. Oh, if I don't buy one of these figurines, the Tenryo Commission Tango will lock me up for life. Sheesh. Goodness knows what Miko told you. I guess my only hope now is to sacrifice my salary for this month and buy one off of someone who got here in time. Really? Great! Then... Here's my salary. Please don't spend it all. Huh. You didn't manage to get one either? That's strange. When I came to line up this morning, I checked with my friend who'd already bought one. She'd been lining up since before sunrise, and she was around the 100th in line. I was only 150 places behind her, so surely I should have gotten one. Hmm, something's wrong here. I'm gonna go ask the shopkeeper for an explanation. <laughs> Why so glum? Didn't manage to get your hands on a statue of her excellency, the almighty Narukami Gosho God of Thunder, by any chance? Sell it? Huh. I ain't selling. Not after all the effort I put in to get a hold of this. Go ask someone else. After coming all this way to Inazuma, and especially getting up early, I still walk away empty-handed. The first batch was smaller than I expected, and who knows when the next batch will come out? Well, since I'm here now, I guess I should buy some other souvenir instead. I can't believe it! I am definitely done for this time! A whole load of people are saying they didn't manage to get one. Did the shopkeepers get the count wrong or something? Hmm. Oh, why don't we go ask at a Pekasu? Hmm. Might as well. I guess there's nothing to lose. <laughs> Terribly sorry. I was otherwise occupied this morning and had someone else watch the shop. So I don't know all the details, but according to our records, we did sell the full 300. Hey, what about those ones at the back? Aren't they for sale? I'm sorry, those are... Those are display only. Please don't be too disappointed. We're only selling a limited number of these statues at the festival, and this was only the first batch. Please rest assured, you will all have the chance to purchase one in the future. But when will the next batch be ready? Also, this poor guy came all the way from Mondstadt. He got here earlier than me and was at least 50 places ahead of me. Even he didn't get one. How do you explain these numbers? Look, I don't know a whole lot about Inazuman festivals, but they do seem to have sold out pretty quickly. I'm terribly sorry, but I've triple-checked the sales records for this morning, and everything seems to be accounted for. Hmm... Why don't we get the Tenryo Commission to investigate this? The... the Tenryo Commission? No, no way. Hmm? Sorry, who are you? Oh, are you saying this falls under the Yashiro Commission's jurisdiction? Um, um, yeah, it does. We will follow up on this matter, so... So there's no need to go to the Tenryo Commission. They're busy enough as it is. <laughs> uh, that's weird. 
How come Sai is so motivated to work all of a sudden? Shh. If the Tenryo Commission finds out about this, Kujo Sara will come ask me about it. And then, she'll find out that I didn't buy her figurine. And... Anyway, we can't get the Tenryo Commission involved. Not unless there's no other way. Huh. Well, since someone's already on the case, I suppose I'll just wait for the findings. <sighs> since I came all this way and didn't get a figurine, I guess I might as well look at what else is available. Thank you both for your understanding. We will make an announcement as soon as the results of the investigation come out. Hmm. So we're supposed to be investigating, but we don't have any leads at all. Oh, maybe the customers really did make a mistake with the Count. If only we had a witness who'd been here the whole time. You mean me? Sorry, I was asleep. Did I hear anything? Uh, let me think. <sighs> I'll take these, please. Thank you for your patronage. Please come again. Thank you, patronage. Oh, yeah! Now I remember. I heard thank you for your patronage over and over again this morning. Huh? How many times? 300? Uh, I mean, I... Um... 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 I got it! There were at least 16 snores between each thank you for your patronage. That's not how you count it! 16 snores should be about one minute. And if we add on the time for moving the boxes and stocking the shelves... Mm... Right! Sales only started about four hours ago, so there's definitely a problem with the amount. But, which means, even though I only woke up just now, I still have a chance of getting my hands on one. Maybe. Well, anyway, maybe I failed my mission because a bad guy did something tricky, not because I was being lazy. So then... Who's the bad guy? Hmm. Well, the shop was pretty strict with this promotion. Not only was there a one per customer limit, they even checked people's identity. So there's no way anyone could have bought more than one. And with SARS people patrolling the area, no one could have cut the line, right? to no good. They definitely try to find a way to sell the figurines at a higher price. Let's go ask the guy who says he had to put in a lot of effort to get a hold of one. Maybe he knows something. And the way I go huh? You want to know how I got my hands on the statue? <laughs> Dream on! Huh? Why? It's not like we're trying to buy yours off you! It's a no, okay? No more questions. Huh? How come? How... How did you know? Huh? Oh, oh, right. Yeah, we are professionals. Okay, fine. Since you guessed it anyway... But let me be clear. Don't spread this around. I came here bright and early to line up, but the first batch of statues sold out almost immediately. I wasn't very happy about that, so I went around to the back door of a suit to see if I could find a shop assistant to ask about when the next batch would be coming out. To my surprise, I saw him moving boxes and boxes worth of statues out of the store. Needless to say, I was all ready to march up and demand to know what was going on. But... Well, uh, yes. Uh, but I paid the shop assistant full price for it, so it was still a legitimate transaction. 
It's not for you to decide whether it was a legitimate transaction or not. Huh? It's... the Tenryo Commission? The Tenryo Commission has received reports that someone has been hoarding goods to resell at extortionate prices. Now, these are not classed as strategic materials, so some amount of price fluctuation is expected in the market. However, it is against the law for a staff member to abuse their position to forge sales records and misappropriate goods. We have already investigated the situation at Apeikusu. The sales records are correct, but in the cash box, there are two bags in which most of the cash has been replaced with stones. But... but how can this be? Please hand over your statue of Her Excellency, the almighty Narukami Ogosho, God of Thunder, as evidence. We will compensate you for your loss once we catch the individual responsible. Ah, fine. So this guy was cooking the books. Never saw that coming. You guys figured this out pretty quickly, Sara. In fact, we were only just tipped off. We're still working on the logistics of the arrest operation. Hmm? Who's this? Yikes! I've been spotted! Oh, you must be the professional Lady Guji hired. I was just wondering why I hadn't seen you yet. Um, we... we were... investigating the missing figurines. Oh, I mean, statues of Her Excellency, the almighty Narukami Okosho, God of Thunder. Is that so? Then thank you. The Tenryo Commission will take over from here. Rest assured, we will get to the bottom of the matter. Uh... Hmm? Um, um, so, uh, about your statue... Really? Thank you. So, where is the statue of Her Excellency, the almighty Narukami Ogosho, God of Thunder? Oh! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Sayu spent the whole night investigating the staff. So, by the time she got back, she was just too late to buy one. Yeah, right. I definitely would have made it back in time to buy one, if only it hadn't been for someone stealing the statues. I see. So in the end, you did not manage to purchase a statue, correct? Uh... <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't blame yourself. The criminal is the one responsible here. The important thing now is to devise a plan to bring him to justice as swiftly as possible. According to the intelligence, the suspect has already started reselling the statues near the festival venue. But he is lying low and operating very discreetly. If we confront him head on, he's likely to destroy the evidence and dash. Instead, we will seek to quietly surround him. But in order to achieve this, we will require one person to approach and distract him. Since you've spent the whole night thoroughly investigating this situation, I can think of no one else more suitable to gain his trust than you. Would you be willing to help the Tenryo Commission one final time? What? Uh, <laughs> right. Leave it to us. <laughs> Who introduced you? I'm trying to keep a low profile here, so I'm afraid I don't take any new business except for referrals by existing customers. That guy. Fine. He did technically buy from me, I suppose. But let me be clear. This product is highly sought after right now. I can't sell to you at the same price he paid. The price has gone up again? Well, you can take it or leave it. Believe me, there's plenty more room for upwards mobility on the price. It just so happens to be in my interest to get these off my hands sooner rather than later. Besides, 
Good luck trying to find anyone else out there selling. Mm, we gotta keep negotiating as long as we can. <sighs> I don't have time for this. Just name your price. Where if I wasn't in a rush to get rid of them? Ugh. Hold on! I... I might think there's still some room for negotiation. What's to negotiate? Do you want it or not? You think this is a game or something? If you're not serious about buying, quit wasting my time. I should be moving on to my next location by now. Not stuck here arguing with you. The next location you move to will be the police station. You are under arrest for abusing your position for personal gain and falsifying accounts. Do not attempt to resist. The evidence is indisputable. The Tenryo Commission? When did you... Wait. All that negotiating... <laughs> Thank you for your help. The culprit has revealed the location where he stashed the statues. And we have sent people to collect them. Great! So once Epekusu has counted the goods and stuffed the shelves, we can get back in the line to buy one, right? This time, I must complete my mission. I'm afraid it's not that simple. The stolen goods will have to be kept as evidence at the police station for some time. They will not be available for purchase in the immediate future. I would be grateful if you could inform the shopkeeper about this. I should return to the station and see how things are going. Although Sora didn't say anything, she seemed a little disappointed, don't you think? Aww. Is there really nothing we can do? I see. Thank you. We'll make a compensation plan and announce it as soon as possible. Wait, hold on. Although this statue of Her Excellency, the Almighty Narukami Ogosho, God of Thunder, was only intended as a display item, now that I think about it, why don't you have it as a gesture of my gratitude? After all, it was our negligence that caused trouble for you all on this occasion. This is just a small gift, a mere token, but I do hope you can accept it. <laughs> really? Sounds good. As long as we give this to Sara, my mission will be completed. Uh-oh. I've been so nervous all day, and now I can finally relax. I feel really tired all of a sudden. Please, take this figurine to the police station. <sighs> Sayu, signing out. this we just grabbed it and came straight here but now that Paimon takes a closer look at it it's really well made 
Of course. This is a prototype designed by Yae Publishing House's top artist and crafted by the most skilled lacquerware master in Inazuma City. Otherwise, how could one hope to capture even one thousandth of the Almighty Shogun's majesty? Let alone maintain it. To do that, you must buy a special kind of shrine and worship it properly. It's also essential to clean it often to avoid a buildup of dust, and it's best practice to hire a craftsman to perform regular maintenance. Sara! Sara! Hmm? What's wrong? These are the five principles for maintenance of the statue of Her Excellency, the Almighty Narukami Agosho, God of Thunder. And I haven't even finished explaining the first one. I never knew there was such a fuss over these tiny figurines. <laughs> I'm surprised Miko never mentioned it to me. Y your Excellency, this is most unexpected. I had some spare time, so I decided to come out for a stroll. Oh. Did you buy this figurine yourself? I... it's... it was... It, it was him. Hey, what? Huh. I didn't know you liked little trinkets like these. Your Excellency, I've yet to finish the defense arrangements for the Iridori Festival. Please excuse me. Very well. Thank you. Watching Sara leave, she looked kind of sad. I have another such figurine in Tenshukaku, a sample sent by Yae Publishing House. I don't need it, so I think I'll gift it to you. I shall not go back on my word. I have committed to giving it to you. What you choose to do with it is your business. You're quite free to give it to somebody else, if you wish. Or, to save you the trouble, I can have someone from Tenshukaku deliver it directly. But, of course, your name will have to be written as the sender. Uh, why does all this have to be so complicated? <clears throat> Good. I'll have someone attend to this shortly. And I wish you a pleasant and enjoyable Irodori Festival. Traveler Paimon, nice to see you again. Wow! It's Kokumi and Goro! So the Divine Priestess and the General of Watatsumi Island have come to take part in the Irodori Festival! Yes. But we are not here representing Watatsumi Island's administration. We were invited as individuals. Things are quiet in Watatsumi Island at the moment, and I wanted to buy some books. So I decided to make the trip here. Goro was not greatly interested in the Irodori Festival, but he said if I was going to Rito, he would join me. Her Excellency is traveling outside of Watatsumi Island and also meeting her pen pal today. As her general, it is my duty to ensure her safety at every turn. Pen pal? Yes, we started corresponding just recently. My pen pal and I share very similar tastes in light novels, and we always have a lot of interesting thoughts to share. Of course, there are also times when we fiercely disagree. Since we were both coming to the Irodori Festival this time, we decided to take the opportunity to hold a book review session and discuss our views on various novels in more depth. Sounds pretty professional! Hey, since you both like novels, why don't you try writing one together? Who knows, maybe you'll shake things up on the Inazuma literary scene! <laughs> That's a very interesting idea. It's almost time. Goro and I must go to meet my pen pal at the agreed-upon location. Kokumi, Paimon's super curious about this pen pal of yours. Can Paimon come with you? Don't worry, Paimon will just watch from a distance and won't interrupt anything. Hmm, 
Let me think. Yes. I think it should be fine for you two to come with me. All right, let's go together. This is the meeting spot. Huh, there's no one else around. It looks like we're early. My, my. Who have we here? M Miku? Oh no, Paimon hadn't counted on running into Miku. She and Kokomi are on different sides, and they also believe in different gods. Oh, are they gonna end up having a fight? Lady Guji of the Grand Narukami Shrine. No wonder. I was just wondering where that air of superiority was coming from. <laughs> if it isn't the leader of Watatsumi Island, who looks as soft as a jellyfish, but whose words sting like one too. Uh-oh, this is getting out of control fast! Hello, nice to meet you, fried tofu with all the frills. The pleasure is all mine, soul of the deep. <laughs> hey, what's going on here? Miko is Kokomi's pen pal? No, it can't be. Look at them. Clearly they already knew each other. Does that mean... Whatever are you talking about? I don't understand. I'm simply here for the book review session with Miss Soul of the Deep. Let's go. The venue for this meeting is in the Conjo Commission headquarters up there. The view is excellent, making it a perfect place to drink tea and discuss creative ideas. Review in the Kanjo Commission! You seriously expect anyone to believe that? You're not here to talk about shaking up the Inazuma literary scene! You're here to talk about shaking up things in Inazuma as a whole! <laughs> Watatsumi Island will soon hold formal talks with the Shogunate on Inazuma's future development. It's essential to have an informal meeting like this one before the formal talks begin. Right, especially with someone outside of the Shogunate like myself, who is in a good position to test out where each party draws the lines. But this is just our first meeting. It's a little too early to announce it to the general public. Huh. Okay then. By the way, where is your general? Didn't you say he would be joining you? Huh, that's right. Where did Goro go? Goro went to buy some books for me. He won't be attending the book review. Oh, what a pity. I was rather looking forward to seeing his fluffy ears again. Traveler. Uh, I I'd like to talk to you for a moment. Hmm. I have been getting the sense that Goro does not like having to deal with Gujiai. So I was initially reluctant to bring him to Rita with me this time. I noticed he instinctively hid as soon as he saw her just now. However. Goro has a strong sense of responsibility, and will feel ashamed when he next sees me. So, I would like to give him the task of buying some books for me to make things easier for him. But Goro rarely buys anything. So, as a favor from me, I'd like to ask you to accompany him. Kokomi, you focus on the meeting with Miko. Leave the books to us and Goro. Thank you. I made a list of the books I'd like to buy. 
please, pass it on to Goro. Goro? Are you alright? <gasps> oh, it's you. Uh, I, I wasn't expecting you know who to show up. Oh, it, it completely caught me by surprise. I had no idea what to say to her. Next thing I knew, I'd apparently already taken cover. I came here to ensure the safety of Her Excellency, but now I'm useless. I've become a burden instead. Goro, don't be so hard on yourself. Actually, Kokumi asked us to give you a very important task. Oh, Her Excellency's purchase list. Got it. This is how Her Excellency wants me to make up for my mistakes. No problem. Just leave it to me. Goro, let us come with you. We can chill you around the Iridori Festival while we're at it. Oh, thank you so much. An Aishan blessing now 10% off. I have to stifle a smile every time I remember the look on my retainers' faces when I informed them of my plans today. Panic stricken, but unable to muster the courage to say anything in opposition. There is a children's storybook on this list called Night at Mount Yogo. I think this is the stand where it's being sold. A children's storybook? Yes, it's for the children of Watatsumi Island. Her Excellency says that this book is simply written and very useful for learning new words. Hello, I'll take uh, five copies of Night at Mount Yogo, please. Thank you for your patronage. Wow, <laughs> you're a lucky customer. There's a coupon in one of the books you just bought, which entitles you to a free gift. Wow! Goro got a free gift! That's amazing! Here you go. A toy box. It's all yours. What? Uh, <clears throat> a toy... fox? Are you okay? The hair on your tail is standing on end. I'm fine. Thanks for the gift. Could you... Maybe, uh, l l look after the toy for me? Yes. Uh, as a thank you gift for coming with me to buy the books. Uh, seems like Goro still hasn't recovered from seeing Nico. Okay, uh, next up... Uh, this isn't the focus of this trip, but let's go buy a light novel. It says on the list that Her Excellency had an editor called Onodera purchase the latest issue of A Legend of Sword for her in advance. Well, we'd better not keep him waiting too long. Oh, we know him! We'll lead the way! Uh, excuse me, are you Mr. Onodera? I'm here to pick up the new issue of A Legend of Sword for Soul of the Deep. Hello there, yes, I have the book right here. I heard Soul of the Deep is the VIP of the Iridori Festival, but I couldn't make it here in time for the signing event due to the shipping schedule. Oh, uh, also, if you have these books available, uh, please give me one of each. Thank you. All right, let me see. Oh my goodness, it's your lucky day today, sir. You are the hundredth reader to buy the saga Hamavarin. That entitles you to receive a special edition version, with a review personally written by Lady Yai herself. Oh, are you serious? Are you okay? You don't look very well. I... I'm... fine. Thank you for the books. Her ex... <clears throat> uh, Soul of the Deep asked me to buy this book after all. I'm sure she'll be very happy to receive a special version with the... Chief Editor's Review. <laughs> uh... Goro does not look like he's enjoying this at all. Hyman doesn't know if he's lucky or unlucky. Oh, one other thing. 
Because of the amount of your purchase, you're able to enter the Yai Publishing House's lucky draw. Please come with me, right this way. Sir, please take your lucky draw whenever you are ready. Just turn the handle and a prize ball will come out. Maybe today's your lucky day. Come on, Goro, go for it! Let me see. Oh, wow! Incredible! You got the golden ball! That's the grand prize! Goro! You're a lucky dog today! So what is the grand prize anyway? The grand prize is a full collection of each light novel published by Yai Publishing House. Not only is the prize awarded personally by Lady Yai, but you will also have the chance to shake hands and take a photo with her to commemorate the occasion. What? Not only do I have to meet her, but I have to shake her hand and take a photo with her too? What? This guy won the Yai Publishing House's grand prize? Wow, that's so lucky! An entire set of all their light novels. That's worth a lot of money. Ah, uh, um, excuse me, ma'am. Could we discuss this? I don't actually want the light novels. Huh? You mean you want to give up the prize? Goro, don't give up your prize. If you don't want to see Miko, that's fine. We'll figure something out. No, uh, that's not what I meant. I'm not giving up the prize, and uh, I can cope with the ceremony and the, <clears throat> the picture taking. But I have a request. I would like to ask Yai Publishing House to change the prize from light novels to books on agricultural science of equivalent value. Agricultural science? Yes. The land in Watatsumi Island is quite barren and always yields a poor grain harvest. We've been looking for new ways to improve the residents' lives. One of her ex, uh, Soul of the Deep's core objectives for the Iridori Festival was to purchase some works on crop cultivation and aquaculture. If I can get these books as my prize instead, we can save a lot of money, and Soul of the Deep can buy some other useful resources too. I see. I understand your request, but I don't have the authority to grant it. Lady Yai will have to have the final say. I will contact Lady Yai now. Please wait for our reply at the Five Kassen Plaza. Depending on the situation, Lady Yai might need to negotiate this matter with you further in person. Okay, understood. Goro, that was pretty brave of you. You clearly don't like having to deal with Miko, but you still agreed to the ceremony and even made your own demands. You think so? I guess I got a burst of courage when I thought about Her Excellency's orders and the people of Watatsumi Island. I am the general of Watatsumi Island's armed forces. How can I let something like this defeat me? I'm ready now. I feel like I'm back on the battlefield. Even if Yaimiko does come to negotiate with me, I won't let myself be pressured by her. You still look pretty nervous, though, Goro. Oh, well, probably because I just realized she might make a cunning counter request just to toy with me. Sorry for keeping you all waiting. How did it go? What did Guji Yai say? Lady Yai has agreed to your request to swap the light novels for books on agricultural science. That's great! Additionally, Lady Yai says that she will include a few extra works, considering your intended use for those books. You may accompany me to Yai Publishing House's warehouse to select your preferred books. I believe your return ship leaves tomorrow night. We will package the selected books and take them directly onto the ship for you. You'll package the books? Then what about the ceremony? Lady Yai said selecting the books may take up a lot of your time and energy. To ensure you have fond memories of the Iridori Festival, she decided to cancel the ceremony. Although, she did leave you a letter. You can read it on your own time. I didn't think Yai Miko would cancel the ceremony. 
Huh. I was so convinced that she would try and make a fool out of me. Now it seems like I was overly suspicious of her. Anyway, I'll go with the editor to pick the books now. I won't trouble you guys anymore. Great! See you tomorrow night! Kokomi and Cora will be boarding their boat home soon! Sure Let's go down to the harbor and see them off! Traveler, Paimon, thank you for coming to see us off. Very worthwhile. The book review session was a big success, and I feel very positive about the forthcoming talks. Goro also made a great contribution. He procured a whole batch of useful books for Watatsumi Island. Uh, I may have won the prize, but ultimately it was Yaimiko who gave us all these books for free. If I have the chance in the future, I must thank her properly. Speaking of, didn't Yaimiko send you a letter yesterday? What did it say? Oh, it, I, I almost forgot. I'll read it now. Dear Goro, I suppose you must have been extremely nervous when you heard about the prospect of the award ceremony and the photo. It came as a surprise indeed to learn that not only did you accept those conditions, you also made your own demands. Your courage has won my respect. Those books are a token of my goodwill to Watatsumi Island, and also my gift to you. I do hope you like them. Ah, uh, yes, I'm sure that by this point you must be feeling ever so grateful for my kindness and are looking for a way to repay me, yes? Well, here's your chance. Yai Publishing House will host an event next month, and we are looking for someone to dress up as a character from a light novel and interact with the fans. Goro, you are not only patient, but also very beautiful. Why don't you come and help us? I'll prepare a tailor-made outfit. Just for you. Oh, and by the way, it'll be a woman's outfit. <laughs> I knew it! I knew she was up to something! 